end of the session, your normal experience is, oh, I could have done a little bit more. If that's your normal experience, like if you're doing like 20 minutes as your, as your meditation, and then normally your normal experience at the end of 20 minutes is, oh, I, I, I think I, I would like to have done a little bit more, then that's the time to increase. But don't go from 20 to 40, 20 to maybe 25. So my problem is that uh, some days it goes well, some days... You know, I'm talking I average. expectations, but yeah. still I'm stuck at those 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, uh, and I don't see... Yeah, but the, again, many short sessions is the way to start. So again, if you... I mean, what you can do is if you're doing 10 minutes, say three and one after another is then change it to 2.15 and see how the quality of your practice changes. But not just once. I mean, maybe, assume you've been doing 10 minutes for a while now. So now maybe, okay, let's do, instead of three 10-minute sessions, let's do 2.15 for the next week and see what happens and whether the quality really deteriorates a lot. If it does deteriorate, then just go back to the 10 minutes. It's fine. I wanted to ask about the murmurs. The murmurs, yeah. In, the, in the, one of the sessions in the morning, I was started and I went back to breathing uh, and uh, then I had no problems concentrating on the breathing without, but I heard the murmurings. Sure. And uh, I could silence them, but I wanted to it sounds like you said to me yesterday that I will just be pushing it, so I try to concentrate on them. And, and also now that I was uh, concentrating on the soul, uh, on the awareness, I was deliberately trying to look into the murmurs from the same reason. Now, should I try to look into them or, or just because I can silence them pretty easy, but... Mm, I think the murmurings is the best way to, to, for them to reduce is simply pay closer and closer attention to whatever you're using as the object with relaxation. So, so, so my, my goal is for them to go down because I was on the contrary. I was trying to, to find things... I saw that they are like salts. So from time to time I gave myself a salt. I thought, okay, the salt, the salt is here, I can recognize it. Okay, so no salts now. I will try to look into them and maybe there will come out little salts. Mm, I, mean, I, I mean, I think to shift your focus from your object to murmurings, maybe that's only useful if, if they're really causing a problem and they're pulling your attention away all the time then you might temporarily focus on them. Because often what happens is when they start pulling you away, you, we start to develop a version to it, which of course just makes it worse. So at least then if we're in that case shifting our attention to it, we don't have the aversion. And so then if we shift our attention to it and just observe that a little bit, uh, and then we go back to the object, you may find that uh, when the murmurings come, you're not having this sort of this thing. And you, they, they won't bother you as much and just stay on the object but in general just they're there it's there it's okay you just stay there pay closer and closer attention uh, more and with relaxations and then as the stability and clarity improve you'll find that that'll but that 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 process i mean really is going on over all these middling stages refining that more and more and more so it's you know quite a long process. It's not like we switch it off from one day to the next. So my goal is not to try to... I'm just making sure... It's, it's no, no. no, just leave them, leave them be. You know what Americans say? Americans? They say if you think big, think of a long time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, there's more questions but it's time for dinner so we'll, we'll do the more questions in the next session at 7.30.